Hi guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick roundup of my Masaurimoto Rise experiment. Uh, 30 days has passed for these five containers to my right, two days for this to my left. The differences between them, uh, apart from the days, is that this has not been uh, uh, spoken or uh, uh, given any kind uh, of uh, emotion then there doesn't be like a direction and intention whereas this one I am actively speaking and trying to communicate my emotion to the best as my ability um, I'm Italian so I've used Italian language this is a love message I love you this is a hate message and uh, the same thing I've done here this is the love message this is the hate message uh, let's see the effect and just wanted to say before jumping right into the uh, result uh, that um, uh, all the containers have been cleaned in the same way the rice is the same batch of rice cooked on the same day and just steamed and put inside every each single container um, it, I was also very curious to see how imagery um, other than words uh, could have an effect so I used um, some imagery which uh, I, I, I consider to be uh, some kind of uh, good and evil mm, no we can say dichotomy and uh, let's let's start from the from from the images uh, I blackened uh, the container to block uh, other mm, messages that was on the that were on the top of it and the Padre Pio is the name of the saint a very famous Italian saint you can see uh, we can see his pretty much um, spotless uh, it's 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 white and uh, to the odor it's quite neutral it doesn't have any particular note or something uh, noticeable uh, the adolf one uh, on the other hand uh, shows somewhat of a brownish uh, purplish darker area uh, which I find really interesting to be in close relationship to the swastika symbol on the on his on his on his shirt um, so this maybe uh, could be also an indication um, of, uh, of um, the power of a, of a symbol over the uh, the single imagery of the of the person um, interesting very very interesting uh, <laughs> and funny result as well um, now let's go on to the um, to the closed uh, uh, containers this is the one that I was supposed to ignore and as you could see there is no message written on top of it and um, I just let those containers sit in complete darkness in my uh, wooden shelf uh, sorry for the mess uh, this kitchen is not used for uh, cooking so I use that for my uh, works and experiments so I just let them sit for 30 days in the darkness same temperature same light darkness condition and so this is the first which has been ignored uh, this is the second this is the the love one and uh, you can see they're pretty much uh, equal and comparable uh, this is somewhat of a more fuzzy texture to it uh, whereas this uh, kept some of the flatness and uh, by the way the water that you see on top of it I think it's due to the fact that I steamed the rice and then put it immediately inside, so the, inside the container so there was a lot of water inside uh, this will wait a little bit more and in fact there isn't uh, as much as the same amount of water inside and uh, this is the last one this is the hate container let me see if I can open it with only one hand and uh, right from the start uh, you can see if i put it to the light uh, there is a difference in texture there is something um, clearly uh, growing inside uh, some kind of brownish mold uh, of some kind and uh, 
the smell also is much more uh, um, strong and uh, unpleasant i would subjectively say uh, compared to the to the loved one which has a more neutral uh, kind of uh, texture to it uh, so okay this is my take on the experiment again this is the loved one this is the, the hate one uh, side to side this is the one that has been ignored and uh, this is the Hitler <laughs> Svastika Nazi uh, experiment with a little brown spot and um, last but not least the one that I am actively speaking and sending emotions to and those are just 10 days um, into, into the experiment but uh, already after 30 days I can see um, a darker spot appearing on this bottom side of the of the hate one uh, there isn't much else on the on the box and uh, here maybe you can see some yellow spot here and there maybe you can see one in the in the in the middle but it's this is pretty much a spotless this is pretty much flat white and, uh, and this has a little bit of a of a darker um, spot to it. So this is uh, this is it. I was very skeptical about this experiment. I try to keep uh, my mind as open as possible about the results. And what I find to be really remarkable about it is that uh, just uh, a, a spoken, a written word. Uh, just a just a written word can have an effect on matter, and uh, not only as Masurimoto always points out, um, an actual spoken word, a word spoken by a human being with an emotion attached to it, but just a, a, a written word, as well as um, as an image, can have an effect on uh, on matter. I don't know what uh, scientists can make uh, out of this. I'm not claiming this to be any kind of scientific experiment. This is uh, um, just a try it and see for yourself uh, kind of experiment. And this could be also good news to the ones that wants to try themselves but are too um, <laughs> afraid or um, mm, mm, weirded out by uh, talking and, and, and hating or loving, uh, hating or loving the rice. Uh, it feels pretty weird, but I can tell you just by letting the rice sit for 30 days with just a written message uh, on top of the container. And if you want to try yourself, if you just have some leftover, you can take a glass, put some kind of enclosure, uh, some kind of plastic uh, wrapping on top of it just to close it and let it sit inside your shelf for 30 days and uh, you can already achieve some kind of result if you're curious yourself. And the black spot that you're seeing on the lid of the hate container, uh, it's not a hole, it's just some uh, some little dirt uh, which has been sitting there. So, okay, don't worry. And so this is it. Thank you very much for your attention.